Quagga and zebra mussels are among the most devastating aquatic invasive species to invade North American rivers and lakes. They were already well established in the Great Lakes region when they were first found in the west at Lake Mead in January 2007. While quagga and zebra mussels are not currently established in the northwest, it only takes one boat carrying live mussels to start populations here. Invasive plants and animals frequently hitchhike on trailered boats from one body of water to the next, spreading their damaging impacts to native fish and wildlife. My name is Paul Heimowitz. I'm the Aquatic Invasive Species Coordinator for the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service Pacific Regional Office. And we're here at uh, Clackamas Park at the mouth of the Clackamas River where uh, there are a lot of folks out fishing today for salmon. So this boat ramp is like uh, dozens we have in the area that um, at any moment may have uh, a boat being launched, hundreds of boats a day. Um, and in some cases, boats that are coming from uh, outside the area and in particular, boats that uh, come to the northwest from the southwestern U.S. or the Great Lakes can be carrying zebra or quagga mussels, one of the aquatic invasive species we're most concerned about arriving to the northwest. Well, the boats that are coming primarily right now into the region from the Great Lakes and then from the lower Colorado River, um, sometimes these boats have mussels attached to them. If one of those boats was not decontaminated, got into a, a water body such as the Willamette River behind us, um, mussels could fall off and start a new population, thus threatening water users, uh, fisheries resources, uh, irrigators, etc., etc. Once established, eradication is rarely successful, and these mussels can clog water pipes, infest hydropower infrastructure, adhere to boats, and result in billions of dollars in long-term mitigation costs, in addition to causing competition for native mussels and disrupting the food web. To avoid this problem, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service has teamed up with the Pacific States Marine Fisheries Commission and other partners to develop a watercraft inspection training program. This program has worked to stop the spreading of invasive mussels by training marina workers, state patrol officers, and others to intercept and clean mussel-infested boats arriving to the Northwest. My name is Bill Zook. I'm a contract consultant with Pacific States Marine Fisheries Commission. The video that we're currently working on is a remake of the Don't Move a Muscle video that we produced in 2008. More and more states and, and agencies and organizations in the West were getting into the inspection and decontamination business to protect their resources and water resources. It became evident that we needed a, a more advanced training program for people who were going to be setting these programs up who, under, who could train other people. Once the video was available for level one training, we, we had Wynn Baldwin start training at Lake Mead. We performed on Lake Mead Academy where he conducted level two trainings, a very intensive two-day training event uh, for a very small group of people and really focuses on hands-on experience with inspecting and decontaminating boats that actually have muscles on them and they get the uh, chance to see the visual impact of a, of a contaminated water. It's been a, a tremendous training. We've done uh, I think 17 or 18 level 2 trainings and have uh, a couple hundred graduates at level 2. Those level 2 graduates have gone on to do hundreds of level 1 trainings. We used a video in our level 1 training. So part of the training each member sees, especially the boat inspection parts, uh, we send copies out to various agencies so they can see what quag and zebra mussels and the impact to the environment uh, it can have. We want to help them make them believers out of it. I mean, you hear a lot of newscasts, but when you see it right there in front of you, it makes much more a believer of what's going to happen if they get established. It's critical for boaters to know that there are things that they can do to help prevent the spread, and that includes um, cleaning, draining, and drying your boats. If you see this sign, please stop and let us do an inspection. Inspection would take five minutes. Uh, we can have you back on the road. Uh, if your boat's clean, like I said, you can move fairly quickly. If you do, we do find something on your boat, uh, we can do a decontamination there and take care of it. Plus, if you do stop and we find something, you are you have haven't violated any laws. But if you go on down the road, you're moving an aquatic invasive species, which is prohibited in Oregon, and that could create fines for you and quarantine of your boat. So it could change your vacation quickly. 
So we're lucky right now in the Northwest, we don't have any known populations of zebra or quagga mussels, but we also know that we're very vulnerable. Uh, boats are intercepted very frequently coming from other areas with live zebra or quagga mussels on them. We know that the conditions here are very suitable for them to cause the same kinds of problems that happen in other parts of the country. And uh, it's really only by a lot of diligence and uh, a lot of effort to prevent boats from bringing in these mussels that we'll be able to keep them away. Cleaning, draining, and drying your boat between trips makes a huge difference in protecting Northwest waters from harmful aquatic invasive species. To learn more on what to look out for and how you can help stop the spread of quagga and zebra mussels, please visit the website shown on your screen.